All right, ladies and gentlemen, here at the World MMA Expo, I'm standing here next to Wayne Barrett, one half of the main event of Take On Productions' next huge event at the Resort World Casino in Queens. Wayne, for all the people out there that are just meeting you and don't know, what led you, out of all the martial arts out there, what led you to the path of Muay Thai as being your expertise? Oh, man, great question. First, before I answer that, I just want to say I, I've been waiting to do an interview with you, by the way. Really? This huh? is a pleasure. Oh, wow. Finally, it's like you made it, you know what I mean? Yeah, tell me about <laughs> it. Huh? No, no, it's, it's a really a pleasure. I mean, I've been in martial arts for all my life. I uh, started off in uh, kar uh, standard karate when I went to boxing and then found Muay Thai. Uh, just basically walked in the doors one day, uh, met a guy that was maybe like 90 pounds, Andy Singh, and, uh, and Little T. And I was about 2.30 at the time. Got in the ring just to mess around, and these two guys beat the bricks off of me. Really humbled me fast. I signed up right there on the spot, and um, the love for Muay Thai just went from there, you know. Well, fantastic. Tell us, uh, you, you said you do have a little bit of experience in karate? Yeah, uh, I, I did start off in traditional karate. What with, would be the main difference discipline-wise or, or uh, skill-wise from Muay Thai and karate? Uh, karate, I, I never forget the, uh, the foundation and the mental strength that karate gives you. But, you know, what I found is that Muay Thai is very effective. Very effective as far as power, very effective as far as the realism. Sometimes in karate, things are a little bit more standard and set. But your mental, your mental state, state in, uh, in karate will allow you to make it through, where in Muay Thai, I do believe that the physicality, the knees, the elbows, the leg kicks, you know, just the, the, the combinations are very, very real and very effective. Well, Wayne, I think the key word there was physical. It's going to get very physical in the main event of Take On Productions' next big battle, and that's featuring you. Uh, what do you know about your opponent? Any words for your opponent or any words for the people that are going to be watching you this Friday night? Uh, no, know my, my opponent's Strahinia, if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, I apologize. Uh, you know, I hear he's a tough guy, uh, has a lot of experience. But where I'm from, I believe I can fight whether you got one fight, 60 fights. So Friday the 22nd, he better come ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. And that's basically it. You know, it's just all about doing business and moving on and moving up. Well, Wayne, I'd like to thank you once again for this interview time. I'll shake that hand one more time. Thank and you, much, and you said it all. Friday the 22nd, be there so you can see the knockouts live. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm ringside here at the Resorts World Casino with one half of the main event, Strahinja Ivanovic. We've seen you here at Take On before. This is your second time featured in the main event. My question for you is how confident are you that your opponent will take you all five rounds? Hi, good evening everyone. It's been a pleasure fighting here. This is my second main event for the take on. Uh, one thing that I know and I learned through my career is nothing is for sure and nothing is guaranteeing in the ring. I'll do my best. I, I hope I'm not going to spend too much time up there and knock him out early. But you can never know what's going to happen. So let's just hope for the best. Well, I've got to tell you one thing, folks. The last time we saw Strahinja here at Take On Productions, he continued the fight with a broken arm. Second round, broke his arm, still was able to compete all the way through all five rounds. I'm predicting a knockout tonight in the favor of you, but only time will tell. For Take On Productions, this is Larry Legend. We hope to see you here live so you can watch the knockouts. I think that's what the DJ is going to play next. Ah. That ASAP fur work. <laughs> What's that bracelet? Uh, kicks on fire. Sneaker convention. Uh, it's like, you know, sneaker heads. Ah, okay. I got the wounded warriors and, uh... Oh yeah? Yeah. I probably should get one of those. Yeah. Early, when, while I'm still young. Well, they say after 28 you're supposed to get one every two years. Get 
saved by the bell. I know. Wait, one, two, one, two. 